this is knowledge coming at you with the film discussion. I'm Saturday stuff, and um, this is Saturday, so I'm actually going to be on time this week. This week is Freestyle Week, and I'm going to talk about what we were supposed to talk about last week because I missed last week. So, yeah, that's what I'm going to do. The five rules for dating me because I don't know. Because they want to know. Because you really, honestly, you don't want to date me. Trust me. It's going to be under five minutes. Stat. Number one. I love affection. I love to cuddle. I love to be wrapped up in my woman. And, yeah. There's nothing that will stop me from accomplishing that goal. So, if you don't like affection and, you know, to be just... I don't know, smothered with it because, you know, if we're just chilling out or whatever on the couch watching TV, I'm going to be wrapped up in you and holding you and, or spooning you or, you know, molesting you or something like that. Yeah, you know, because I really, really love affection. So that's rule number one. I am a touch me lot stud. So, you know, just so we have that out there. If you're a pillow princess, it's not going to work. Number two, try as I might. I'm not punctual, and I know that's a really, really bad quality. A lot of people hate that, um, but I'm not a punctual person, and I think it has really like warped itself into just me being a rebel without a cause. Really, um, I used to just like not following rules, really breaking rules that I thought were minor, like you know, being on time for shit, <laughs> which is not really minor. But yeah, you know, I'm not punctual. I am, when I'm, you know, trying to make a really good impression, you know, 10 minutes late, maybe. I might be 10 minutes, 15 minutes late for the date. But, you know, that's just because I'm trying to, like, look my best for you. And you should appreciate that. Number three. Once we have established, you know, some kind of emotional relationship that has manifested itself physically at some point. Um, at night, I know some people really love having their personal space. You know, give them, give them a couple, give them a couple of feet, whatever. That's cool. But I, you know, in as far as me loving affection, that includes sleeping at night. I, I like to spoon. Um, I like to, you know, be in the back. And I just like to feel flesh upon flesh. I just really do. I just love to feel my woman's warm body against mine when I'm sleeping at night. Um, yeah, it just it energizes me or something. It, it just I need it. I just need it. Yeah. So you know, I'm one of those type of people that I guess being single, being alone, it's difficult for me in that respect as far as that meaning affection and, and things like that I really do love having that in my life and if I'm dating you and you know it's exclusive then that's something that I will totally expect my fourth rule maybe it sounds a little ridiculous but that's me I'm, I'm kind of like an alpha I'm not going to say I'm an alpha butch or an alpha stud because I'm more of a, you know, and I know people hate labels. Oh, well, deal with it. Um, I am a stud and that is how I identify and I am very much so attracted to femme women and, you know, you don't even have to consider yourself femme because to me it's, yes, I'm attracted to femmes, but I also love feminine women period. So even if it's a woman who's very feminine and is in touch with that and you know, doesn't consider herself a feminine. I still am attracted to women like that. And the flip side of that is that I am, you know, pretty set in who I am. So the woman has to respect who I am and how I see myself. I love an aggressive femme as well, an aggressive woman, a, dominant, a woman who knows who she is, is assertive and goal-oriented. So knowing that, you know, that will let me know how. So, 
Yeah, basically, those are the rules for dating me. Really, there are no rules for dating me. It's just be yourself and, and let's see what happens. It's, I think that um, when it comes to love, people should not be afraid to take a chance. You just got to go for it sometimes and, and just open your heart, open yourself, and let the other person who you really feel and know how you feel. So, yeah, that's my video. It's a bit drab this week. I'm really sorry about that, but um, I had a really long week. And um, I'm just glad that the weekend's here. I hope everybody is going to enjoy the weekend and have, have a great night. Be safe. Um, shout out to everybody on the BFD. Peace out, everybody. Have a good one.